I will show how to create an e-commerce form in Fluent Forms Pro. So we have Fluent Forms here. I have also installed Fluent Forms Pro Pack add-on. So we, as I've installed and activated Fluent Forms Pro, it shows up here in the side. The first thing I need to do is turn on payment settings. So I'm going to go to global settings. I will go to payment. I will enable the payment module. After enabling payment, one sees the settings, payment methods and coupons. So basically go through the screens. Here's a business name, business address, business logo and currency. There's a lot of currencies to choose from here pages and subscription management. Here one needs to basically add in a page. So the numbers are here because I added a page earlier. So I'm basically starting over. So we need then a page for payment management page as well as the receipt page. So I'll uh, create those pages right now. I'll go to all pages, right click, open a new tab and create a new page here. I am then pasting in the title for the page. So I have a nice overview of that. And I need the short code. So I will add in a short code block. I, I do that by clicking shift and seven, the forward slash. And here I see short code. And just paste that in and publish. And that was the payment management page. I need one then for the receipt. And that is done right here. Short code for, I will add in the title first. Paste in the title. And then I will just kind of take the short code here. This time I will just start to write short code paste in the short code and publish. I had the receipt page and also the uh, management page. So I'll go back here. I will refresh. So make sure that they, I get them in there and then find the management page. And here it is. And the receipt page. And we have that in there. So, and then save. So we done one important part here is actually enabling payment and adding these two pages in here. There is a payment method. Uh, and originally you might just see three of these, but upon refreshing additional will show up. So I will then turn on test payment, which you can see is enabled here. Basically turn it on, save settings. And coupons here, I will get back to that another time. So what I'll do now, I will create the form and I will add a new blank form. I will add in a container, um, four column container. Here, I want to add in a picture of a product as well as um, payment item field and a quantity field. So custom HTML. Here I will add an, uh, a media here. One right there. I have that in there. I will remove the description. I will add in another HTML here. Add in media. And then another HTML here. I can also copy, duplicate these, but they're kind of tricky dragging. So here I will just add in, let's see what I'm missing here. Already got that, so we'll remove that again. This time I will then copy this and I will drag it into here and 
I will then, since this was selected, I will add in media. I believe this is the last one here. So we have these four here uh, columns with four custom HTML showing images of, for instance, products that we are selling. This is actually from a film club that we were showing these movies. I will just, I'm using this example of, for instance, purchasing these movies. So here I need to add in a payment item. And I will take this as 15. Um, I will call this uh, Samadhi. And below here, I need to add in the quantity field. So some of these might show up here, but also go to input fields here, and they will show up in the payment field area. So I need an item quality, uh, a quantity and drag that in here. I'll move that one up. And this I need to then map to where it's going to um, have to. Um, so this is mapped to this image. Or let's see, this is done. We have the price amount, quantity, its product map uh, field mapping is done to this here. So as we add in something here, this price will be updated. So I will this, I will copy this and I will drag this over here. And the same with this one, I will copy and I will drag that over here. So quantity and I, this is called Babasis. And I need to map that to the one here. It says product field, uh, field mapping. So what I'll do, I'll just start with these two here. And I need to then below here, add pay payment summary. So we can see it show up here. And as I said, they also show up in the input field here. So what I'll do, I'll just drag this below the container and here is then the product summary field. Below here, I will add a um, payment method. Here's payment method. I'll just drag that in here. Let's see payment, click it, it will add it below here. So basically we have everything in place, offline payment is there. I will here click, uh, I will add it to purchase. So basically we have the images, products, quantity below two of these just to show how this works. Uh, same price for both. The price will be updated based on quantity. Um, when I select the quantity here for both of these, a uh, payment summary will show up for both of these products and I can do an offline payment. So that's what we need to do right now. I will then save the form. I will then go to settings integrations. What I want to do is here in the confirmation message, I want uh, the user to be able to go to the management page for payments. So what I need to do then is then, this is the receipt page, I need to go to management page. Here we have management page, I will view that. I will then copy the URL and um, go to payment page, um, payment management. Okay, and then we'll paste in here. I've selected that. I can either paste right in or I can click here and enter. 
Save settings. And what we need to do now is add this to our page. So I need to add then the uh, Fluent form I made for purchasing. I will just add a new test page for now. I will call this um, products. And here I need to add in Fluent form for it. And I will add and see it's called blank four or five. That's one thing I actually forgot. I will go back into Fluent forms and give it a name. So right now I have four and five. This is the newest. You can see also there is an icon here showing it something's going on. This is for conditionals, calculations, also payment. This is, it gives an icon for that. I will go and edit and I will give it a name. I will call it uh, purchase, purchase product. Rename. So I will just refresh this page here. Products purchase fluent forms, select the form purchase products. And this is what we see here. I will do a uh, publish and let's see what it looks like. I want to then, uh, let's say, okay, we viewed it. And here we have it. So let's see, changing this to two. It says Babasis have two of these. And um, see, this is wrongly mapped. I have not mapped this correctly. So that means I'm going to have to go back into here and just check how these are mapped. Here it says map to Babasis. I need to map that to Samadhi. And here I have mapping this to Babasis. So now this should be correct. I will go to the front end here, refresh. Okay, so no payment items have been selected yet. I will click one. We have one Samadhi and let's do two Babasis. Okay, so we have two Babasis here, um, quantity two and Samadhi one. I will then purchase. And uh, go to payment management page. And we see this pending because this is the offline payment. Click here to view. This goes to the receipt page. It shows the payment method online. And it's 45, customer name and email. So this is basically how one would set up um, e-commerce or a shop for a product. I add in the image, add in the quantity, and add in the payment field, payment item item quantity and these need to be linked to each other so the quantity here needs to be linked to the payment field mapping which is Samadhi the one right here called Samadhi below that here I need to add in a summary and here I add in a payment method so that's basically how you do that and I will want to give one more tip on this is that I will go to the page here for um, purchase products sometimes it might actually help adding in a group block to where one can control that with content with so I would just basically add in a fluent form for me in here and here I can control the width of that so here I will just drag this in to we have this in group and fluent forms so here i make sure to add the group is selected content width i'll change that to percent so here i control control the width of this group block 
So I think that is it. And that is good to show with how one would purchase a product.